These are the do's and don'ts of general shop safety to keep us safe and to keep others around us safe. Uh, our essential question uh, why we're doing this is just understanding why shop safety is so important to our success. And so safety is the primary goal. Uh, we would much rather have everybody be safe than walk away with a project that you can take home if it meant that we weren't safe. And so shop safety is of necessary importance to us. And so these are the do's and don'ts uh, while we're working with tools and while others are working with the tools as well. First of all, clean up your workspace before walking away. As you see on the left, that's a clean workspace. There's no scraps of wood, there's no dust, there's no dirt. It's just a clean tabletop. Over on the right-hand side, you see just extra pieces laying around. If somebody starts that saw and there's a piece of wood that's you know kind of touching that blade, it can shoot towards them and we can have injury. And so we want to make sure that we always walk away from a clean workspace. Always, always, always wear eye protection at all times when you're around the tools. That helps prevent anything from flying into your eyes and doing some serious damage. And so we always need safety glasses. We do have certain glasses, safety glasses, goggles, that will fit over your regular prescription glasses for those of you that do wear glasses. We just need to make sure that we have protective glasses on, not your normal glasses. Those are not safety glasses. There is no horseplay allowed while tools are being used in the shop. That's no running, no play fighting, no screaming, anything else that you want to add to that category. All of those things draw attention away from the tools that are being used. And if we're paying attention to something other than what we're working on, that can cause injury. And so whether you are involved or whether others in the classroom are involved, we want our attention always to be focused on what we're doing and we want to keep ourselves safe and others safe. If you do horseplay, you'll be asked to leave the shop. You need to shut off power to all tools before walking away. We have the stop signs on each of the tools which are located down by your knees so that your hands can always stay on your project. You can use your knee to hit the stop sign and turn things off. Make sure you're holding on to your project until the machines come to a complete stop before taking your hands off and walking away. So always make sure that you stop the machines. If you ever try to turn on the machine, if you hit the green go or this green start button and it doesn't work, Hit the stop sign before walking away to ask the teacher to help you fix that. You must have permission from your teacher to use the tools. So you are not allowed just to walk into class, turn on the tools, and start working. Your teacher has to give you verbal permission that yes, now is okay, an okay time to use those tools. Your teacher also must be present in the classroom in order to use the shop tools. The teacher is not out at a bathroom break. The teacher is not out talking to somebody else. If they are not in the room, you need to wait until they are in the room because they must be present before you're using the shop tools. There is no talking when operating the shop tools. It means conversation that you have while you're waiting to use any of the tools, conversation that you're having you know, as you're getting things set up. Those conversations are done because, once again, those conversations draw our attention away from what we're supposed to be working on. Our focus needs to be on our projects, on our tools, on our bodies to keep us safe. You need to pay attention at all times when operating the shop tools. Your eyes are always on your project. That's one of the reasons for no horseplay, because our eyes and our attention is drawn elsewhere. We need to make sure our eyes are always on our project, and that includes being aware and paying attention to where your body is. Your fingers, you don't want, like the picture on the right, you don't want your fingers too close to the blades. You don't want your fingers underneath something else that you're cutting where you can't see them. You need to know where everything is. Your body, other people, everything. So eyes on your project and always being aware and paying attention to where you are so that you are safe. We want to reduce hazards before operating shop tools. So if you have long hair, if you have baggy clothes, if you're wearing a scarf or a necklace, uh, or you've got a hoodie on and the hood can slide down over your eyes, those are hazards that we want to avoid. So if you have hair, use a hair tie and tie it back. If you have a scarf or baggy clothes, like a sweatshirt or a hoodie, take that off 
and just have the t-shirt underneath. If you have long sleeves and you feel like those might get in the way, please roll them up because all of those are hazards. Those can get caught in any of the tools and then we have accidents and we have injuries. Only one person at each tool. So when somebody is standing in front of the tool, whether the floor is marked off with the yellow and black caution tape or not, one person is at that tool, they're using that when they're done, then another person can come in and use that. If we have a second person, like you see on the right, too close as somebody's working, they can accidentally bump, they can you know, distract, and those are the things that we want to cut down on. So one person at a time at each tool. Please, please, please report any hazards before operating tools. That includes broken blades. If you walk up to a, a saw and you see that there's a broken blade, if you see that you know, on a sander that there's sandpaper that's ripped, if that sandpaper is ripped, torn, frayed in any way, those little rips can turn into big rips, and we don't want sandpaper whipping around through the machine at you. Uh, and if there's any injuries or misuse, we want you to report that to the teacher because those things are serious and we want to make sure that everybody is safe. Whether that's somebody misusing the tools, whether it is an injury that happens, please say something right away. And you need to score 100% on each safety quiz before you are allowed to operate the shop tools. Without doing that, uh, without getting 100%, you are not able to use the shop tools. And so you'll need to retake the test, relearn the information uh, in order to actually use these. Because then we as teachers know that you are safe. We know that you've understood what's expected of you so that we can cut down on any of those accidents that happen. And you can actually create a project that you're proud of and you get to take home.